more often than not as teachers, you are always confronted with situations whereby one student, after giving a, a test, one student or a group of students would always come with a special reason why they couldn't sit for a test, for example, illness or any other valid reasons which the teacher at his or her discretion might find it valid. So in Moodle, then it becomes very, very important for one to know how to do an override. An override can be done for a single student or a group of students. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show how to run a simple override to give a specific student special permission to take the test outside the initial confines. So assume that one student did not sit for, say, this assignment because the student was sick and now the due date is over. How do we go about it? Go to the assignment. You can easily see that out of the 29 participants, only 24 submitted. What happened to the five? Perhaps they were on a trip or perhaps one of them had a valid reason. So how do we, you go about it? So as usual, make sure the editing on the editing is turned on. So I'm now in the in the assignment. Go to the at the left, then click user override. After clicking user override, now go to add user. You are now telling Moodle who is that user. So you just come here, you select the user. Maybe the user is this one. Identify that user. After identifying the user, okay, the due date was 24th. So I can mod it. I can change here and say save. After changing here, it means I've given this particular student an extension. So I can say save and enter another override. If I've got a list, for example, if there are few, I can still use the same approach of user override. But if there are many, it means I can create group and then just apply an override to a group. Thank you very much. This is very easy. And more often than not, these are normal circumstances which teachers are normally confronted with when they are doing assessments in Moodle. I hope you find this video quite helpful.